Lovebugs, I am back with another video. Hey y'all, hey, happy new year. If you guys see something around my nose, it's not like boogers or anything like that. It's my nose is peeling really bad because I'm actually really sick right now. I'm on my way to get some medicine that I got from the doctor yesterday. Long story short, I didn't have to write my new insurance card, so I gotta go back today. Whatever. Anyways, so my nose is peeling really really bad and it hurts but anyways i decided to get on camera sorry for the low energy but i decided to get on camera and film this video so many people ask me about my eyebrows and how did i get them thick so or how did i grow them back either way people have a lot of questions about my eyebrows so this is an up close picture of my eyebrows well i'll just walk into the camera so you guys can see what my eyebrows look like. I have nothing on them. I just went ahead and brushed them. That was it. So yes, my eyebrows are super, super thick. My eyebrows have always been thick. However, I actually did lose a lot of them. Like they became super thin and I'll insert in clips, but they became super, super thin over the years. And I'm not even that old. So it was kind of freaking me out because I was used to the full eyebrow look. So here are my top three tips on how to grow back eyebrows, not necessarily grow them back thicker, but maximize your full eyebrow potential. So tip number one, low manipulation. I had to learn this the hard way. So I'm going to show you guys two eyebrow pencils. I was trying to fill my eyebrows in over time and I was actually losing more eyebrow hair than anything. So the first eyebrow pencil I had was a really inexpensive pencil and it was horrible. Like I could actually see each time I combed my uh, eyebrows with the pencil, I actually could see the hair falling out. It was insane. It is the e.l.f. brow pencil in the color brown, black, I want to say. No, deep brown. So, y'all, this was the worst pencil ever. I, I don't even know why I still have it, but I still have it. My eyebrows were literally falling out. So, what <clears throat> while I was trying to grow my eyebrows out and do low manipulation, if I needed to go somewhere, I actually got this it brow power pencil and they have just one color this pencil was is the bomb like this pencil was a huge huge lifesaver especially when my eyebrows were uneven they're still kind of uneven but this one always grows in better than this one because I have kind of a waxing scar on the side so it won't grow the hair right either way I had to fill in the tails with this and then fill throughout. I have like a piece right here that's missing due to a waxing burn as well so it doesn't grow back right. But this pencil, hands down the truth, if you don't have an eyebrow pencil and you are looking for something that will help you and you need it for occasions, special occasions, this is definitely one to pick up. It's um, shelf life is 24 months so that's another bomb thing so also that plays into low manipulation I stopped getting my eyebrows done every two weeks I actually stopped getting them every done I go now for a while there when I was first trying to grow them out I went from every two weeks to every two months yes y'all I was looking a mess as you guys can see my eyebrows still kind of look a mess right now because they need to be cleaned up but at that point I didn't care because I just wanted them to just continuously grow. So every two months I would get my eyebrows done. If I knew I had something big coming up or an event that I needed to go to and I didn't want to look crazy, I would kind of either space them out a little bit further or just have to do it quicker and then wait even longer to get them done again. So that was something that I did too as far as low manipulation. I went from two weeks to two months. Then I switched over to threading. So I'm not even that old, honestly. I'm not even in my 30s yet. And I had to pretty much stop getting my eyebrows waxed. Like waxing is no longer my friend. I was having too many wax burns and my eyebrows just stopped growing in certain places and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. So I actually switched over to threading and the lady that I go to, I pretty much tell her, hey, 
don't thin them out leave them uneven just clean them up and so she's been doing that for me and oh my gosh my eyebrows have been slowly but surely becoming even so i'm so 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 happy about that step number two just like your hair you can get some type of supplement I would not recommend castor oil on your eyebrows. I was actually, I tried the castor oil trick because somebody at the nail salon told me to do that and my eyebrow hairs were falling out too. Like castor oil was too heavy, it wasn't working and my eyebrow hairs were falling out as well. So I decided to switch over to a basic hair skin nail vitamin. So I didn't see immediate results within like the first 30 days or anything like that. It was pretty much like the first couple of months that's when I started seeing something I was like oh okay hey my eyebrows are, are actually growing back thicker they're actually growing back fuller like I used to have them so the ones that I'm currently using right now these aren't the ones that I always use but these are the ones that I'm currently using right now it's the hair skin and nail gummies and I have noticed my eyebrows are still maintaining and still doing a pretty good job. So I personally wouldn't recommend castor oil. Like I said, my experience was horrible. I know some people say that it works for them, but mine was just terrible. Honestly, stick to low manipulation and it's better to always do indigest something than just to slap it on the outside of your eyebrows. So I would say pick up some type of hair, skin, nail vitamins. They're pretty inexpensive and the results will probably be good for you not necessarily for your hair sometimes your hair grows it just depends everybody's different but hair old school fashion hair skin nail vitamins work wonders for your eyebrows i don't know about your hair but they do. and the last step is none other than patience growing back eyebrows honestly doesn't happen overnight Trust me, it's taken me two years to get my eyebrows back to this place, and I'm so excited about them. But if you follow those first two steps to the T and then add a little bit of patience into it, you will do fine. Honestly, don't get caught up in the makeup trends by throwing all this concealer and penciling in and microblading and all that stuff, y'all. If you don't have it, you just don't have it. It is okay. Whoopi Goldberg is famous and she ain't even got no eyebrows. I'm just saying. <laughs> but there are steps that you can take to maximize your eyebrow potential and just be happy with them. You know, um, I don't judge anybody who does microblading or pencils in their eyebrows. But for the people who pretty much destroyed their eyebrows, this is definitely the video for you. This is the video to try to recruit recoup some of your eyebrows that you did once have I know for like me like I said the tail is always going to be short on one of my eyebrows and I'm also missing some hair right there I'm okay with that so I'm not going to recoup 100% of my eyebrows but as y'all can see I did a pretty darn good job recouping them but it did come with a lot of patience like I said this was pretty much like a two-year process for me I've been complaining about my eyebrows for the past two years and finally I'm just kind of like you know what they're good enough for me I'm still gonna keep up my routine now I go every um, month now I stopped the two month thing because I was just like girl oof, you looking rough so this time the last time I got my eyebrows done was about a month ago I'm getting them done later this week because I have my bridal shoot and I want my eyebrows to look perfect so I will be getting them done later this week before my bridal shoot however I started spacing it out for about a month one stretch my first year I was so extreme I went a whole like three and a half months y'all when I tell you that was rough that was rough but it's okay if you do these three tips, you can potentially maximize your eyebrow growth. If you guys have any other tips in the comment section, definitely sound off in the comments. Let us know. Share your thoughts. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people struggling with eyebrow growth and they would love to hear yours. Like I said, things that work for me might not necessarily work for you, but this is what has maximized my full growth potential. But until next time, y'all, bye.